Okay, great. So thanks everyone for coming. We're doing our first tactical meeting of the general circle. Um, this is a meeting where we go through just sort of all of the, um, tech, the operational stuff and get updates and surface information about what people are up to. Um, it, it's our first meeting. I don't expect any of you to have any idea what's going on. Um, there isn't necessarily time for, there, there will be time for questions. If you need, if, you, if you're confused about something, um, you can just ask for a timeout to say timeout and I'll call on you and we'll take a timeout. It's a very structured process and it might be different than what you're used to. Um, it will feel a little uncomfortable, like you're learning a new game or like you're being asked to do something you've never done before. It's a, it can be a bit of a stretch. Um, but hang in there, it gets easier. This is the most effective meeting format I've ever found, and I really love it. Um, so with that, um, there's a thing called the meeting card. This is, the, this is a tactical, tactical meeting card, and I can send a link to this. Um, let's see, Holacracy tactical meeting card. And it just shows the overall process. Um, I'll also describe each step as we go through it. So if you, don't, if you don't have a card, that's fine. But even as facilitator, four years in, I, I still hold on to the card because it, 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 uh, it, really helps, it really helps me know where we are, what's going on, what's next. So the first step is the check-in round. And this is just an opportunity to call out distractions, get present, say anything that's on your mind. It's one person at a time and there's no discussion between people. Um, I can start. So for my check-in, um, I'm super excited to be here. Uh, it's yeah, it's a little early, uh, but I'm I'm feeling good, and I always get I always get really excited. I know it sounds cliche. I always get really excited when I'm working with a new group for the first time and starting to introduce this stuff. And um, you know, over time, it'll we'll get to the point where where you know you got you've got someone internal facilitating and doing this and giving it their own style. Um, I'm also a little nervous. You know, new group want to do a good job. Um, it's, it's, a, it's remote, it's distant, so it's kind of a unique, well, most of our, most of our work is, 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 is remote like this. Um, so that, that's, that's my check-in. Uh, Stacy, your check-in. And Nicola. Thank you. And James. Great. And Taryn. And Renee. Okay, so we just finished our check-in round, and now we're moving on to checklists and metrics. Um, so a bit, of, a bit of explanation. At this point, the circle doesn't have any checklists or metrics, but normally what would happen here is that um, I would just call on people who have checklists and metrics, and what those are, a checklist item is just a yes or no answer to like something important to the circle. So, you know, like, Invoices sent for last month, check or no check. Next program scheduled, check or no check. Um, and that surfaces information that then everyone can use to make decisions. To, it, it helps inform people about what's going on in the circle. Um, and then metrics are just the same as checklist items, but they're numbers. So it could be number of participants invited last month, or number of events planned, or days until conference, whatever it is. And anyone can make up a checklist of metric and put it on the circle. The circle lead, James, has the authority to add them and take them off, but anyone, anyone can add them. Um, so if there's something that you wanna know, if you have a role, and we haven't really even talked about what a role is, but if you have a role and you think, gosh, I really need, as program manager, I really need to know, you know, did we get the transportation sorted out for that thing. Um, you could have a checklist item, you know, transportation sorted and some, and whoever's accountable for that could, would be, be able to say, oh yeah, check on that or no check. Um, there's no discussion. It's just going through each checklist item and metric. So at this point, we don't have any. Um, during the triage section where we have more of a discussion, we can add some and we might do that. Um, in fact, I might add one as facilitator coach. So. That's checklists and metrics. That was easy. Let's move on to project updates. Okay, so we're doing project updates and this is just like metrics and checklists. We just go through each item in turn, but in this time I ask any updates. And an update is just the change from last week to this week. It's not 
everything that's happened under the sun. It's not you know, why I couldn't get it done or, or what's wrong. It's just quick status check. Um, and if this triggers attention for you, like if you have a, if there's something that you want to talk about because of one of these um, projects, then you can put it on the agenda. And then when we get to the next step, we'll go through each of those items. In order to put something on the agenda, uh, today we'll do it in Teal Dog. In the future, we might do it in Asana. If you're all in the same room, you can just do it on a board. But the agenda is just a list of items. Um, so you could just say, you know, hey, Jonathan, or hey, facilitator, can you add XYZ to the agenda? Can you add, you know, program, uh, conference to the agenda? And then that lets us know to get to that thing on the next, uh, to, to, to talk about that thing during the triage agenda step. A um, little long-winded. Now I'm going to go through the project updates. So Jonathan, as facilitator, um, working agreements explained. Any updates? And then as facilitator now, I'm going to say, um, let's see, no, no updates. Um, initial projects added to Asana for all roles. Oh, no, no updates. Uh, governance by James's role and timeouts in tactical meetings explained. Um, yeah, so I explained tactical meetings a little bit just a few minutes ago. Governance by James's role. Uh, I didn't explain that. Um, I'm going to add an agenda item for that. And that's my update. Okay, so that's all the projects. Normally we would have more people involved in that, but it was just me. And so now we'll move on to our next step and that's build agenda. So now we're on step five here. And build agenda is just where I ask people about anything that they wanna talk about during the meeting. So this is a chance for anyone to just call out anything that's up for you with the work of the circle. Um, and we can also add items uh, as we go between each agenda item. I'll ask, are there any more agenda items? Um, and if there aren't any, that's fine too. Uh, is anything, is anything on anyone's mind um, with regard to the, circle, the work of the circle? So if you're, in the, if you're doing BD, um, if you need something from somebody in this, in this circle to do that work, then you can totally bring those things up here. But if it's something that like just BD cares about, we don't necessarily need it here. A lot of times someone in a BD role would talk about um, uh, projections for how projects are going, how, like, like uh, how much money is being brought in or, or any opportunities. You might go through an opportunities list and say, yeah, I've got these four opportunities. I just wanted to share that information. Or you might say, um, yeah, I've got, this, I've got this potential project, but I'm stuck on it and I need help from I need funding for it, or I need to buy some clipboards or whatever it is. So if you're stuck on anything in BD, this is a great place to bring it up. And if you wanna like share out to the group, this is a good place to bring that stuff up. You don't have to like proactively bring up every little thing that you're doing or you know, justify what you're up to or anything like that. It's, it's, it's really, if, now if James, has, if James is, feels like, oh, what's going on with the gala? He can, bring a he can bring an agenda item. He can ask you for, for information. He can say, I'm, I'm wondering what's, what's going on with the gala. Taryn, do you have any, can you tell me about it? But you're, you're, it's not your responsibility to proactively bring that up unless it's a project that's listed here. Okay, let's go time back in. Um, anyone else have anything to add to the agenda? No. So we're gonna move into triage. And during triage, um, this is where we actually do the meat of the meeting, most of the meeting. Um, and normally the, that preamble that we just did would only take about five or 10 minutes um, because this is our first meeting, it took a half hour. So normally we would already be into the triage section. Um, so I'm gonna go through each item and I'm gonna ask the, the, the tension holder, what do you need? And I'm gonna help coach them through choosing, coach them through getting what they need either by having them request a project or action of someone, uh, request information from someone, share information, like tell us something, try to set a new expectation, and we'll talk about what that means, 
Um, and really most issues come down to one of these four things. Um, if it's confusing, don't worry about it. I'll coach you through it. Um, the goal here is for, is for you to learn to play this new game, um, but not to feel restricted or constrained, even though it is a very constrained process. I get that. Okay, let's jump into it. Um, so our first item is staffing for 2020. Nicola, what do you need? Okay, does anyone have that information? Um, number of positions to fill? Just jump in if you do, or if you have any thoughts that can help Nicola with this. Nicola, did you get what you need? Great, so we'll put a check on that and we'll move on to our next item. Um, so as facilitator, I have the um, I have the authority to choose the order that we go in to try to make the meeting as effective as possible. Um, so I'm going to jump down to Taryn's item, onboarding for staff. Uh, Taryn, what did you need? Okay, Taryn, did you get what you need? Okay, so let's jump back up to the top here. Um, let's do... This first item, uh, explain James' governance. And this is mine. So uh, Jonathan, what do you need? Um, <laughs> so as facilitator coach, I wanted to explain this idea of governance just for a second. Um, basically, uh, in Teal Dog, we have, we have these roles. And the roles, have, um, the roles can be made up, they can be changed, and the roles have accountabilities. And the accountabilities are how you know what's, what people are expecting of you and how you know what you can expect of others. So, um, the, so that last question was a great example of like, hopefully there's a role somewhere that, that's called staffing and, um, and it has certain accountabilities. Um, so ideally, eventually over time, these roles will develop and, and become more mature. And then somebody coming into the org can know what's going on really quickly. They can get oriented. And when you have a question, you don't have to go to James necessarily, or you don't have to go to Nicola necessarily. You can go and check the roles and see, oh yeah, staffing person, that's so-and-so, I can go ask them. Or there is no role for this. I should propose creating a role. Um, now, normally in Holacracy, there are governance meetings to create roles. Um, but to get started here, what we're going to do is we're just going to have James be the keeper of the roles and he gets to make up roles and make up accountabilities and assign people into roles. And that's really what's going on right now anyway, right? As the, you know, as the executive director, he makes up the roles, he does the assignments. So if you, th if you see a need for a new role, we'll ask James, does it make sense to create this role? And either you can, if he says, yeah, sure, go ahead and create it in Teal Dog or ask me to create it uh, or create it yourself. Um, we don't need to get into the details of that, but I'm happy to answer questions about it later. Any, any real quick like questions about that before we move on? No. Basically, it's just, we have these things called roles. They, they describe the accountabilities and responsibilities of, of people. And we'll just make them better over time. Doesn't have to be perfect the first time. Don't stress out about it. Um, just wanted to mention that. Okay, so we were on uh, explain, gen explain James' governance process, and that was my item. I got what I needed, so I put a check on it. Um, and we have about 15 minutes left in the meeting here. Let's jump into, let's see, let's do trips. Stacy, what do you need? Okay, did you get what you need? Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm going to put a check on that. And because we're running a little low on time, let's see. Um, let's, let's do list of projects, James. This one might take up the rest of our time. Um, this is pretty common to just, to just do a, a capture of projects during the first tactical. Um, so probably there's a good chance that um, some of these other items we won't get to today. Um, and that's just the nature of, of reality, right? We only have an hour. 
Um, we, if there are some in some some companies, some organizations will choose to go over their time. Uh, I'm not going to ask anyone to stay after the top of the hour. Um, so James, let's do list of projects. What do you need? So we're at the end of our meeting. Um, um, we didn't get through all of our items and that's normal. Um, so now we're gonna move into the closing round and this is just a real quick chance to reflect on the meeting, um, share how it went for you and there's no discussion, just like the check-in round. This time we'll go in reverse order. Renee, do you wanna give a closing? Taryn, James, Nicola, Stacy, and Jonathan. Yeah, that was actually a really good uh, first meeting. <laughs> I, know, I don't know how it was for you guys, um, but we got a lot of work done. We got a lot of good stuff structured. Um, the observation, go slow to go fast. That's exactly what we're doing. And uh, I really appreciate the opportunity to work with you guys. Um, and I will see you in the future.